Hey guys, and welcome back to Medieval. When we last left off, we had finished the uh, pirate ship. Um, not my favorite level in the game. I mean, it's okay. The ghost ship, I should say. It's an interesting one, and I do like the concept of it. I just wasn't a fan of uh, how this game handles platforming. But I do like the the universe of Medieval. I'm very much a fan and want to see more. Anyway, let's go to the entrance hall. This is Zarok's Castle of Evil. And interestingly enough, you would assume that this is the final level of the game, but it is not, which uh, was quite surprising to me when I was uh, playing this originally all those years ago. Anyway, let's go. Come on, Dan. Let's go to the den of evil and purge the heresy. Mystical door opening. The entrance hall. Zarok conducts his evil wizardry duties here. Try not to disturb the imps during their routine cleaning duties. And please take off your shoes. Well, ha, we shall not be taking off our shoes this day. But we are here to do a little bit of house cleaning of our own. Die. Die. <laughs> not bad, Dan. Not bad. You're certainly becoming a hero. And I did forget to go heal up off camera. Never mind, it's fine. Right, let's get out of here, Dan. And we probably need to find a blacksmith or at least somebody who can bang this bloody shield back in order. Oh, you little bastard. I didn't even see you there. Good stuff, Dan. Leave none surviving. Kill them all. We'll be killing them all. Don't you worry about that. This place is so cool. I, oh man, I love it. Right, let's charge up our blade and kill. Kill everything. Bloody magical imps. Stick this sword so far up their ass. They'll be tasting magical iron for the rest of their days. Admittedly, their days will probably be very short. Right, let's have some healing juice. Ah, much better. Not bad, Dan. Ah. Uh, I wonder what this feels like to be in this life fountain. Hmm, must be like when you when you're in a um, a ley line or a power um, a power line. I believe they call it. You, there's a lot of places around the planet where you can feel energy pulsating. Hmm, very warm, calming sort of sensation. Anyway, let's. Uh, the UK is full of them. Um, Let's go patch up our shield a little bit, and everything else is really nice. All good. Right, come on, you thieving, impish bastards. Yes. Die. That, believe it or not, is the exit of this level, but we're not done here yet. There are still smelly imps to purge. And um, there's a little Brucey bonus for us for playing the uh, remaster which is kind of cool anyway come on Dan run you beauty now let's go down the other place oh you sneaky little bastard imp now one thing I will show you because we haven't shown it off yet is the chicken drumstick there we go now we can turn these enemies into chicken and we can eat them and we can get a little tiny slither of health back but the radius for it ain't huge, and the way Dan throws them is annoying. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of a useless weapon, really. But I do want to keep our last one equipped. Why, you might be asking. Well, there are some thieving little dirty imps down here. And I want a thieving dirty little imp to steal my chicken drumstick. And I want him to make off with it. Because then we can buy our chicken drumsticks back from our butcher friend. From our butcher friend. Um, from our gargoyle friend. Oh, shit. No, that's fine. 
little bastard stole my sword for a second there. And uh, if we buy them back, we'll have full health. Uh, full chicken um, drumsticks. So that's pretty cool. You may be wondering why these books are open as well. Uh, that's because I just had a failed attempt at this level. I got halfway through this level, paused it to change my chair over, because my chair's a piece of shit. And yes, I did unpause the game, but uh, OBS didn't listen. So, yes. Anyway, let's read. Know that if you release the entrapped souls in this souls. test, they will need help to be set to rest once again. Assisting these souls would earn one a place in Galamere history. Really? Perhaps the greatest of all its heroes. Mm. Is that something you would do, Sir Dan? If you do, history will be yours for the taking. Yes, history will be ours for the taking. Uh, what she means there is if we do this quest, and it is quite arduous, uh, or long-winded, I should say, we will unlock the original PlayStation 1 version of this game. So, And of course, we're going to do it. All Lost Souls released. Now, what does that do exactly? So, on every level, uh, or I don't think it's every level, on most levels, there's going to be a lost soul that we can find and talk to. Biggest fish I've ever seen pulled me into the river right by the village lake. You should have seen it. I'm sure those fish are still in there. Okay, so we talked to him and we found the soul. He's now in our inventory. Um, fisherman forms. Uh, fishing in the sleeping village. So every time we pick one of these souls up, it's going to want us to revisit a level and uh, go to a location to release it. Now, I think there's 15 lost souls, so I'm going to probably cut a video together of, of finding them all and putting them all back to rest. Um, that's going to take a while, <laughs> but uh, I will do it. And of course, it's not going to do anything for me because I've already unlocked the original game, but there we go. Okay, let's read some more books. Spellbook. Contents. Raising the Dead, page 5. Putting a Town to Sleep, page 71. Ooh. Looking good for the over 400s, page 136. You could use that, Dan. Robbing people of their free will, page 207. Summoning demons, page 268. Card tricks, page 290. Card tricks, you say? Hmm, that sounds interesting. The Secret Diary of Zerok. 100 years I've spent in exile, using my anger to keep me warm. Feeding off my suffering, relaxing with my angst. But soon they will pay, all of them, including Fortescue. <laughs> he thwarts my first plan to conquer Galilee, then posthumously claims to have killed me. When I find him, I'm going to get medieval on his bony <laughs> behind. I never liked him anyway, always hanging around the court, interfering. Where are you going with their dead cats? <laughs> Where did you find that brave Zephyr? <laughs> <laughs> I like that diary. You get uh, a little bit of a backdrop about uh, Dan and Zarok's prior um, enemy relationship, which I like. Now, remember this room? This room is uh, where Zarok was in the intro, uh, where he was reading his book and uh, proceeded to leave through that waterway there. Uh, I like this. This is cool. Anyway, there is one book I think we've left. Uh, and it just explains about the magical imps. I don't know what exactly makes these imps magical. They seem to be weak and useless like all the others. But uh, apparently they are slightly different. And uh, unfortunately we don't get a new entry in our... Um, ah, there we go. In our book... Those mischievous oh, imps have been at Xerox spell books again. <sighs> They're shielded by magic, the naughty creatures. Yeah, it says they're shielded by magic. I'm not really sure what that means because, as you can see, they're still just as weak and as useless as uh, any of the other elves. Elves? I mean, imps. I wish we could kill elves. Everybody says, Titan, are you a racist? I'm like, yes. Yes, I am. I fucking hate elves. I do. Right, now let's buy back our chicken McNuggets or chicken chicken drumsticks. 
There we go. And that, my friends, will give us 30 fresh chicken drumsticks. Okay, and that's probably the easiest way. And this level actually is probably the easiest way of getting them back because it's so short and sweet. I mean, we've been recording for 10 minutes and I've spent most of it talking utter bollocks into this microphone. Uh, you could do this in like two minutes. Anyway, let's leave. And I am going to have to put a break in this video because I have to go pick up the missus. She's finishing work very soon. The Hall of Heroes. Yes. I'm pretty sure we're going to get a health bottle from here. I think it might be gold again. So I'm kind of hoping it won't be. 19. One more chalice remains. One more chalice. What I might do is um, complete the game without getting the final chalice. I'm going to look it up because you can get the, um, you only get the true ending if you get all 20 chalices. So we'll, we'll see about that. I might forget. Uh, the difference between the true ending is um, <laughs> not much, to be honest, I don't think. But if we can get it, we will. Oh, hello. Hey, Danny man, how's that sword bearing up? I told you it was magic, right? Great. I've got so much here I can give you, but I've no idea what ah, it is. Ah, cheers, lad. Do you fancy your chances? Yes. Man? Give it to me. Oh, it's health. Uh, well, you know, I mean... Uh, that's not as useless as gold, I suppose. Gold is useless in this game. It's utterly pointless. Whereas, yeah, that that we can handle. Right, let's get out of here. And uh, we're going to have this as the first half of this video. I'm going to put a pause here, guys. When we come back, we're going to an interesting level. A level that I always thought doesn't really kind of like fit. It, it, I mean, the level itself is fine. It's just the theme, the time device. This game is just weird. It's a giant time device. But, <laughs> I mean, I guess it's one of Zarok's things. But I thought he was a necromancer. And when was he controlling time? I don't know. Anyway. So, that's where we're heading next. Kind of a long level, but it's a really fun level. Quite challenging, but that's the way. Hey guys, and welcome back to Medieval. When we last left off, we'd ransacked Sarok's... Sarok? Sarok? Zarok's entrance hall, which was fun. Destroying his tower of evil. Now, it's time to move on to his time device, which is a very strange level that I still to this day don't really feel that it fits, but hey, it's actually a really good level. So, come on, Dan, let's go. We're close to the end now, my buddy. Oh yes, the time device. Zarok seeks to expand his reach beyond the confines of time. Just think where he could go. Modern London, Egypt, the possibilities are endless. So, modern London. Um, I actually believe in Medieval 2. My god, it's been a while since I played that game. Only, yeah, 20 years or so. Uh, yeah, that was set in the future. Um, in regards to this game, anyway. Right, come on, Dan. I think it was set in like, um, ooh, like the Victorian times or something. Open, says me. Now, we know these boiler guards. My God, it's been a while since we had to put these bastards down. Luckily, we're now equipped with some epic gear. That's the stuff, Dan. Ooh, you little bastard. You sneaky little bastard. Let's go for some, you know, 
Let's just get the longbow out. And I've just uh, finished watching... Oh, nice. I've just finished watching the uh, PlayStation 5 user interface reveal. And, oh, man. They've been cooking up something juicy behind the scenes, haven't they? Very nice. Makes the... Definitely makes the PlayStation 4 look very... Um, tired and out of date. So, looking forward to that. Right, Dan. Looks like this place is cleared out. Let's go down. Hmm. I think this guy, Mr. Zarok, has a fetish for clocks. Uh, not really sure it's giving me that idea. Just, you know, something about the uh, ambience in this place. Oh, I hate these things. Ooh! Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Oh, shit. Even if you touch those hands over there, um, they will hurt you, so bear that in mind. Right, we've got the silver shield. Excellent. Hey, friend. This guy's, like, always glitched into this. I don't really know what that's about. Anyway, no matter. We have the time room. You could say we are powered by time or something. Right, that's what this guy will have to say. Using a dark magic called... Science? Zarok has constructed a device based around the mechanical measurement of time. The innards of this chronograph are fiendishly complicated. Mm. Keep your eye on the flying timepieces and get ready to reset the hands of the master time clock. Hmm. Interesting. The flying timepieces, you say? Well, whatever you say, bud. Let's get out of here. Science, eh? Who the hell knows what that is? New Book of Galimere. Hmm. Alright, well. Let's give that a go, shall we? Hmm. Well, that hasn't done us too many favors but let's keep pushing forwards these things are horrible they're really hard to dodge you ooh, yeah so this is the code to open the door um and it's random every time so we want gold top and silver on the 18 yeah because it's really quite iffy to activate dan's daring dash they're really hard to avoid and you can see just how much damage we take. So it's on like the V8 type thing. That. And then that's on the H at the top. There we go. That's the stuff, Dan. Good man. Alright. Good enough. Good enough. Now, what have we got? Oh. Well, that's a fucking wonderful uh, camera angle, Dan. Run! There we go. Oh, Jeebus. Okay, this area is a bit saucy. Run, Dan. Keep moving, me dude. Up, over. Oof, Jesus, almost lost the testicle there. That would not have been fun. So, we have some options here. We can go straight through there, but looks like we need a rune. We don't have any runes, do we, Dan? So, let's go this way. Past another clock. Ah, looks like we've got some bad nicks flying around. Well, that's fine. Get out of here. Oh, going up. Ooh. Hey, sir. Ah, you son of a bitch. Fuck off. Just... Ooh, a lost soul. Hey, friend. Well, we might as well collect you whilst we're here. It is I, Sir Salone. The Dragon Smiter. You know how many dragons I've smote well? None yet. But we shall change that. To the dragon statues of Zarok's Hall. Hmm. Okay. Alright, well come with me, buddy. And uh, hopefully in time we shall sort you out. Now, this is a conundrum, isn't it? There's a chalice. We have lots of lasers. Lasers that hurt us. Hmm. We also have some gold over there. And the rune that we need but it's covered in a shield well come on Dan uh, what could possibly go wrong if we slap this around oh right okay let's see if we can twizzle these oh bollocks careful Dan there we go eh, eh, eh. 
ultrasonic frequencies. Oh, baby. Well, there's the chalice, but we need more souls. So, take a little ride on this bad boy. It took me ages to realize that that was even a lift, to be honest. Kind of doesn't look like it, but there's something very satisfying about the way it slides into that uh, hole. <laughs> uh, no, see, 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 he didn't, he didn't do the daring dash. I tried, but he didn't do it. I don't know why it's so hard to activate the daring dash. Uh, never mind, right, so we almost have everything that we wanted from here. In fact, we have everything what we want, that we wanted from here, apart from the chalice, but we can't get that just yet. Right, not bad, Dan. Not bad. Oh, God. Took two taps there to activate it that time. Um, right. We can go through. No, we have the time room. Let's give these guys some long-range pain. There we go. Not bad, Dan. Might as well make some of these weapons work for us. Ooh, Jesus. Oh, Dan. I hope you've got your running shoes on there, buddy. Run. Kind of. Sort of. Fuck me. Run. Yep. That is a fun... <laughs> That's a fun little challenge there, because the game doesn't let you see what you're doing. So you've kind of got to wing it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Right, luckily killing these does actually fill up the chalice a little bit. I was unsure about that. So now we have the time rune. This is most excellent. Alright, Dan. You ready, buddy? You ready? I think this is easier going back than it was coming through. Oh, fuck me. Right, we're good. Hold on to your ass, Dan. Oh, well, you don't really have much of an ass left, but still. Uh, hold on to what little you have. Whew, oof. A quick hop and a skip there. Right, we have some reading material. This metal keep houses the magical chariot that Zerok calls his train. Train? The path How's that? that runs along leads eventually to Zerok's lair. However, your route is blocked by gates controlled at various way stations. Travel to these on the train, open the gates, and head for the lair. Train, eh? What crazy contraption will we come up with next? <laughs> Train. Stupid word. Right, let's uh, have a little look around here, shall we? Now, this place looks fairly clear. Use the earth room there. Right, so we can go that way. Also, look at this train, man. It's awesome. It's so cool. I love the art direction. Have I mentioned that yet? That I like the art dimension? Uh, dimension? The art dimension. Yes. Don't mind me. It is currently half past eight in the evening. And I have been up since five o'clock this morning. No, that's a lie. I've been up since four o'clock this morning. Right. Okay, cool. But I need to get this video done. And god damn it. I just want to play this fucking game. All right. Come on down. Let's go. Boop. Boop. Let's ride this metal monstrosity. Hmm. Well met, demons. Crush, kill, and destroy, Dan. Leave none. Whoa. <laughs> See you in hell, asshole. Right. Okay. Ooh. We have beastie boys up there. Not those beastie boys. Oof. Come on. He was a three shot. Dude, do you know these arrows cost gold? Is that something you realize? See, he only took one shot. Uh, two shots. One shots, two shots, three shots. Ah, who's counting? Oh, come on, Dan. There we go. See, he only took two shots as well. That other guy was a greedy mofo. Uh, let's see here. I like the music here as well. We got some more arrows because, yes. Good stuff. Alright, we found the moon rune. Okay, let's get out of here, Dan. With moon rune in hand, we can return. Look how awesome that is. I really had a lot of fun designing this, this stuff. 
Right, looks sounds like the guards are out. There we go. Put them down, Dan. No surrender. No prisoners. Kill them all. Let God sort them out. If you believe in that sort of stuff, anyway. Right, okay, so Moon Rune Door is there. Dan, your head is spinning again. It's spinning. Okay, so that doesn't appear to be a glitch then. That's just like a random thing that happens sometimes when you push certain objects. Not all, but just some objects. Okay, cool. Ooh, hello. Yeah, I'm very tempted at this point to trade in my Pro for a PlayStation 5, but... Then I wouldn't have a PlayStation Pro for the, uh, the collection, you see. Which is bad. The chalice can now be collected. Excelente. Right, let's have some nice healing goodness. Oh, you little bastard. Hey, oi, oi, oi. You know what? Let's just load him up with arrows. Cheeky bastard. Peppering me with shot like that. Dick. What do we say, Dan? What a dick. Yeah, I should have stayed away from those guys and killed them from range, really, but I guess I'm just not that smart. Dan. You know, it's hard to fault Dan. He's got no brain left. Just a worm inhabiting that empty headspace. And one eye. Eyes don't really do a lot of thinking, though. At least, as far as I'm aware. You know, I'm not a, 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 a brain engineer or anything. There we go. Brain science is not my thing. Okay. Good. Good. Excellent. Good stuff, Dan. Let's go, buddy. Now, we need to go collect that chalice. This is now frothing and full of souls. So we can go one last time with all the heroes. Oh, Dan. And, you know, it's quite useful for a hero to have his head in a swivel like that. I can imagine it's very useful. Even with just one eye. So, let's be fair. Depth perception would be way out. Now, how did we get in here? Which door? That door. Alright, Dan. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go back and get our chalice. Whoop. Oof, fucking hell, almost lost our head there. I mean, that's fine. Also, we need to go all the way back to the beginning because there is something that we can get. Right, give me that. Nice! The Hall of Heroes awaits. Told you we'd make you... Oh, God, that's 20. Yeah, okay, might not be able to show the... Uh... <laughs> the other ending now. But it's fine, you know, it's all on... It's all on YouTube, ready to be Googled. Fuck me. There we go. That's the last thing we need is a spike up the arse. Run! Now, um, yeah, there's still this door down here that we haven't been through yet. Um, you know, the camera angle is really weird in this game sometimes. It's not actually letting us have a good look around. Now, um, there's the code <laughs> for that door. I don't think that pop-up actually shows up until you've completed X amount of the level. Uh, is it that and then... There we go. Nice. I can't actually remember what's through here. Oh, right. The life bottle. Yes. Nice. And there's another health fountain there. Although that does seem fairly redundant, considering the fact that we've just been given a life bottle. Uh, I suppose it's good if you're replaying the level. But, you know, we're kind of OP these days. Right, let's go, Dan. We have everything we need. Boom! Um, oh, yeah. Ass. Well, I mean, we almost have everything we need. Apart from, you know, the bloody door being open. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. There we go, Dan. Work that magic. Pump those calves. There we go. 
Let's ride, brother. Onwards, there's evil to smoke. Uh. Not bad. Where did Zarok get all of the uh, materials to build such a wonder? Is it all magically created? I mean, you know, probably, but... I don't buy that. He must have been toiling away at this for thousands of years. And that, my friends, is that. Let's go once more to the Hall of Heroes. Oh, and then soon, soon, I can go to sleep. Oh, my bed. I was like, medieval or bed? Medieval or bed? Medieval or bed? Medieval, obviously. You prove us all wrong. Mm -hmm. Maybe it is destined to be a hero. Maybe it can defeat Zarok. The people of Galamir may never know of your past mistakes, and you will indeed be remembered as the people's hero. Yay! Your time in exile is over. Welcome to your new home, Sir Daniel Fortescue. Yes. There we go, Dan. We have. Uh, look, there we go. We are no longer. Um, and we no longer have an ethereal statue. Although, it's a bit weird that uh, our statue is literally, um, you know, a perfect copy of our of us. It would have been nice to see. Um, uh, sorry, guys, just getting messages. I'm organising my missus' birthday. Uh, right, yeah. So. Um, it would have been nice to actually see that statue being representative of Dan in his living existence. Uh, I always thought that was a little bit odd, but hey. Anyway, let's go fuck up the table for the last time. Yes! Because we won't be returning here. Uh, not once the ending's over. Anyway, excellent! Right, yes, pick up your own cups now, you bastards. Now, what do you have for me? Daniel, thank goodness you're still safe. I have a gift I can give to you, but sadly, I can't say how useful you will find it. I can't remember what the last one is. Is it? A li yeah, I was about to say, is it a life bottle? Um, actually, the life bottles make the final battle uh, much easier. Uh, in fact, if you don't have any life bottles, which, well, I mean, I find it hard to believe you could get this far without any extra life bottles. Um, but if you don't have a full complement of life bottles, the final battle can be a lot harder for reasons that we shall go into in a minute. So we have the lightning as well. I thought that got upgraded, but I mean, I guess not. Oh yeah, we can't actually show it off, can we? Right, let's go get loaded up. Now the music's changed here now from the sounds of it. Now we have all of the... Now we have all of the um, chalices, which is pretty cool. Uh, we'll get some more standard arrows. You know, we top top off everything because why not? Yeah, uh, sure. Right there you go. Eat that, you greedy little bastard. We've got a kingdom to save. Leave the hall of heroes. I. And actually, that was a twenty-one minute video. Um, the the next level, actually, the last level is fairly short from what I can remember, so we might tack it onto this one or we might leave it as its own thing, but uh, I'm going to put a break in the video now because i got shit to do, so I shall catch up with you guys a little bit later on, or if not, till next time. <laughs>